Good morning, John. I'm in Melbourne, Australia. That's the convention center where VidCon is currently happening as of the release of this video, but not quite yet as of the recording of it. I'm walking around the city, my Australian publisher, Hachette, has asked me to answer some questions about my book. And since it's coming out in less than 30 days, I'm gonna do that. And I'm doing it with the help of some Australian voices, because I love this accent. What's your writing routine like? I could tell I you're trying to be so Australian. What's your writing routine like? I open my laptop, unless it's already open, and then I type. Why did you name your protagonist April? Is there some kind of metaphor here? Oh wow, there's a lot of water on the lens. I'm a pretty on the page kind of writer. Like there's not a lot of subtext, honestly. I like to be pretty explicit. But that being said, I mean, there's reasons. They're not really metaphorical, but you don't know them. How does writing a book change the way you experience other books? I can tell you it definitely does change it. I, I wouldn't say it's better or worse. First of all, it's harder to not compare myself to good writers and be like, oh, I'm bad at this. And second, like, yeah, you see more of the process. You see more of how it works. Uh, I think that that's a deeper understanding, but it's less immersive, maybe? Different, not better or worse. And to be clear, I find that with most media. I find it with video blogs, with music, like the things that I've tried my hand at, that I've spent time doing, it affects the way that you imagine and perceive them. It affects the way that you enjoy them. I feel like any 5.1 download would be pretty gross. Are there any songs you listen to that inspired the plot or characters in your novel? I don't listen to music while I'm writing. I, mean, I can't listen to anything while I'm writing. Like white noise, maybe. Uh, but yes, it will become clear upon reading it, there are a number of songs that were inspirational in the book. What have you found to be the hardest part of writing your book? Stopping writing is really hard. Once you've done it for so long, like it's so hard to get it out of your mind that you can't change anything anymore. It's terrible. I thought of something really great last night that I that would make the book better if it was in there, but it's not gonna be. I did put one thing in the book after it went to press though, so it'll be in the second edition and also maybe in the digital editions. If someone offers to make an absolutely remarkable thing into a movie, would you say yes? I don't know. I haven't said yes yet to that, so we'll just have to see, I guess. That would be pretty cool, but... It's also a lot of work. I've seen it. It's a lot of work. Loved your book. Is there a sequel in the works? Thank you for reading my book, book store. Uh, and yes. Where did you spend most of your time writing your book? I mean, in chairs, most. I'm not very picky. I'll do it wherever. Hey. <laughs> I'm just vlogging. It's Sophia. Hi. Hi. I'm in my hood. It's raining outside. Will you give us the robot slash car chase scene that John will never write? I mean, I am looking for ideas. Like, inspiration can come from anywhere. So, maybe... At which point do you go, alright, that's it. This idea is going to become a book. About when I finished. Why did you write a slash this book? I make a lot of stuff, and there are lots of things that I've wanted to talk about that I haven't found good ways to do that. And I found that this was a good way to talk about stuff that I, I wanted to talk about. It's also a good way to tell a really good story that I was really excited about. What was the seed for the story that became the book? Kind of embarrassing, but a, a literal dream. Like, I had a dream, and then I thought, that's interesting. Then I made a book. When does the book come out? It comes out September 25th. It's available for pre-order now. This is a beautiful city. If damp. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. You'll be able to get my book at places like Dymox. Book levels. This must be a very dangerous ladder. They've got it confined. You're not going anywhere. 